This program is brought to you by Emory University. Our next competitor is Lisa Stamez. Lisa is a fifth year doctoral candidate in Emory's Nutrition and Health Sciences program. Did you know that one out of every three people sitting in your row is at high risk for developing type 2 diabetes? This disease, which I'll refer to simply as diabetes, has serious, uh, serious consequences. Heart disease, blindness, even amputations. The focus of my research is to detect, detect early signs of the disease and in doing so, identify new ways to prevent the disease from ever occurring. Normally, the food that we eat is broken down into small molecules of sugar called glucose, traveling from the bloodstream to all of the body cells. The hormone insulin acts like a key, unlocking the doors on the body cells for glucose to enter. During diabetes, blood glucose concentrations are dangerously high, caused by two problems. The first, insulin resistance, occurs when the body cells resist the presence of insulin. The second problem occurs in the body's pancreas, where the specific cells that make insulin fail to produce enough of the hormone for the body's needs. So both of these problems lead to the dangerous accumulation of glucose in the blood. The goal of my research is to determine which of these two problems is more prominent in the pathway leading to diabetes. Insulin resistance has traditionally been seen as the driving factor. However, emerging research suggests that poor beta cell function may actually have a key role long before the disease ever develops. In my study, I'm following over 1,000 healthy adults from Chennai, India for three years. Through multiple blood samples, I'm able to measure their insulin resistance and beta cell function. And through statistical modeling, I'm able to determine which of these two problems is more prominent. My preliminary results are striking. Poor beta cell function is extensive and is more important for the participants' blood glucose levels than insulin resistance. So what do these findings mean? First, poor beta cell function is a serious problem that we can detect in people who don't even have diabetes. And second, our approach to diabetes prevention should incorporate the preservation of beta cell function. For the third of you who may not even know that you're at risk for diabetes, this research may mean healthier prospects for your future. Thank you. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University. This program is brought to you by Emory University.